We are here. It is the first match. It's going to be the English, led by Vortex, facing off against the Holy Roman Empire in Hera. So we're going to be seeing some pro scouts, I'm sure, some fast castle. What are your predictions for this matchup? And how do you feel about the English aggression against the Holy Romans early on? Hmm, Holy Roman Empire, obviously really strong when it comes to economy. English, they are good with early aggression. They are good with their early longbows. I still like the big control that longbows will provide in Pewdle Age. The big question mark, yeah. if we get to castle and Holy Roman Empire doesn't take a lot of damage, it's just crazy. Craziest economy, craziest gold income, and the strong knights. Yeah, absolutely. They, if they get that fully operational Regnitz Cathedral just pounding with three relics there, it's uh, it's pretty frightening for sure. And I've noticed that most Holy Roman players, and correct me if I'm wrong, but typically will go with the uh, double stable at that point and get the knights out for a little bit of map control. But again, England with their early feudal pressure, like you were articulating very, very well, can get those longbows and can often deny the prelates uh, map control and also can put a little bit of pressure on pro scouts have you been seeing English players go with... I've been seeing this a little bit myself. I don't know if it's a bit of a kind of a, a paradox of sorts, but I've been seeing them kind of do fast expands on top of the uh, deer camps nearby to deny the pro scouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes lots of sense, right? Because you can't go professional scouts for yourself. You kind of want to go mass farming. So it is nice to get some deer and also take it away from the opponent. So certainly a viable strategy. But if we look at Vortex here... We don't see that being an option because the deer are really far away from him. Yeah, the position is like up into the north and to the east. I think that's going to be a little bit tricky for sure. Now, I know there's also been some wild rumblings in the community going on with the Minework Palace. So do you think there's do you think there's any chance that from, from Hera we could see an early Minework Palace to kind of mitigate some of the longbow pressure maybe? But I mean, Aachen just feels so strong, like having the pro scouts with the deers being farmed near it. It's just so much food. But do you think there's any chance that we could see a wild Minework Palace or is that just kind of out of the question? Well, with my math background, I can't say there's 0%, <laughs> but I think Dude. the only realistic scenario is a misclick yeah. to not go far. <laughs> just, just a misclick and not noticing it for like four minutes while it's building or something. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny <laughs> for sure. But but as far as the English build goes, they're going to be having seven on food. It looks like three on gold, which seems to be pretty standard. Sometimes you'll see an 8-3 split, but also going for early lumber with England is quite important compared to civilizations like French because you're going to be needing that lumber for the longbows. And for the Holy Romans, it's pretty much always the case, correct me if I'm wrong, that the old prelates are going to be being pumped out first before your second villager, yeah? Um, I think so, yeah. Prelate first, obviously just pushes you what is it like 40 percent more that's just massive yeah and yeah feels like very reasonable than four on gold very reasonable start and i still have to question Hera's wood choice and the Aachen chapel placement he's completely ignoring the gold isn't there an ideal world where he could have built the wood or the lumber camp to the left hand side and could have squeezed the Aachen chapel in between gold wood and tc yeah this is certainly uh i mean I don't know, I guess it's a little bit of a buffer between the longbows. But yeah, overall, I think the Aachen positioning is a little bit off. Building it to the west of the town center here, like you articulated, would be very, very nice. You'd be hitting that entire tree line. You'd also be getting the uh, the big gold vein there. Right now, I think it's pretty much just going to be hitting the deer as well as the, uh, well, the deer, where the deer will be dropped off, the sheep in the lumber camp. So 100% agree with you. And it looks like Council Hall is going to be coming out fairly quickly already up to almost 3000 hp whereas the Aachen is at about 2400 so uh, i would assume we're going to be seeing some longbows pouring across the map pretty quick yeah mm -hmm. are you on the live game i'm 10 seconds behind the live game maybe you speed up a bit more as long as we're in dark age makes it easier for us to be in sync welcome welcome you got it and yeah i think we're all set now so it looks like there are some walls going up on the perimeter so we are seeing walls from hera to prevent the longbows from kind of circling around the back of his base and that will potentially funnel them into the town center so that does kind of force the issue of is he going to get a battering ram to you know really push through this or is he really going to try and get through those walls on the flanks what do you think i think we will need a lot of scouting intel if he sees the professional scouts and if he gets the honestly like how the deer are positioned Hera needs to build lots of army. He can't just yoink those deer to next to his TC. Longbows will prevent that. Yeah. So Hera then has to go for lots of army. And then I think a ramp push won't work that well anymore. 
Yeah, I, the deer positioning, obviously, they are relatively close to his base, which certainly is nice, but they are very close together. Those two deer camps, you could honestly put like a group of longbows like right in between those two deer camps, and they could really potentially cover both of those, which I think is quite strong for sure. And it looks like there is going to be a villager coming up with the English push. And uh, yeah, quite a nice tower position, actually. He's going to be able to probably place a tower right below that wood line, even further punishing that wood position. In the meantime, maybe some uh, horsemen coming out here for the Holy Romans to try and mitigate this pressure. Yeah, you're saying maybe some horsemen, and there was a lot of no production here. Just think about, like, first unit in the queue at 5 minutes 40, now the first two horsemen, and horsemen aren't crazy good against Longbowman. I think this looks really troubling for Hera. Yeah, this is certainly tough. I think the lumber camp is either going to be forced to move up to the north a little bit away from the tower position, or of course, uh, maybe over to the other side in the position that we were originally talking about. But yeah, five longbows is a lot to have right now. And I think the first horseman has just arrived. And it's not like it's China or the Mongols that can rapid fire out those horsemen. They're going to be coming out at a relatively slow pace. We already have six longbowmen, and it looks like a couple more surging across the map. Now, do you think we're going to be seeing uh, spears coming out for the English as well, or are they just going to be going all in on the longbows here? If they see one single stable, they have a tower as well. I think Vortex will be fine without the barracks if he doesn't want to go for wild aggression. And look at that. At home, he's on stone, so it won't be wild aggression. Yeah, I like that. Obviously, the kind of feigned aggression here. I mean, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really call it feigned per se. But, but yeah, a lot of aggression coming in from the longbows, poking the Aachen Chapel. Uh, obviously, buildings have pretty massive ranged armor, so it won't do too much damage there. But yeah, kind of corralling the Holy Romans in, and this is also really good for containing the professional scouts. And are we seeing pro scouts being researched? Yes, it is finished here for the Holy Romans. Are the scouts going to be able to get any deer? It looks like there's one wild scout down there. Might get picked off by that longbowman. We will see. 30 HP will get away, and that professional scout like, would really surprise me if that one pays off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be really tough, and uh, it's tricky too, because if he wants to produce more scouts, he's going to have to probably cut his uh, villager production to produce the scouts, whereas the, uh, the stable here has now actually stopped producing horsemen, and you can see that scouts are coming out. Do you think that Hera more or less knows that this isn't like a true all-in and there's going to be a second TC behind this? I don't know if he's actually scouted the stone either. Um, it doesn't have to be 2TC, right? It's 2 on stone, so it might just be for some arrow slits upgrades. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it is arrow slits. Yeah, he's pulling a little bit of a Mongol uh, fast one on him here. So the outpost on the east side does indeed have an arrow slit. The one in the middle is being researched, and I would imagine he will do the same thing with the other tower. And a villager is also picked in the lumber line, forcing back the villagers here of Hera. Man, this is pretty brutal. I honestly think like the disaster is kind of starting here with the <laughs> yeah. building placement. Aachen Chapel. Now, the influence of the Aachen Chapel can't be used for all those villagers in the back on the berries. And if, even if you get those deer, they can't be used under the TC. Yeah, like, you, you could maybe put it on the very eastern tip of the TC and still be within range, but it's going to be very precarious for sure. And the tower push is really, really just getting even worse. You can look, looks like the English villager might be trying to set one up by that lumber line right there, which would be mm -hmm. pretty nice. Oh, look at that. I think the villager is actually chopping through the tree line to try and get into the base and then tower the gold. You see that? Oh my uh, god, that's here going that's... for the wrong tree for now. No, 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 <laughs> she's going for the right one. Oh, sneaky move. Dude, this is so dirty. So he's going to be moving up and probably towering the gold main. Then Hera's going to be completely strangled in his base right here. And right now, as far as military goes, Hera's rocking two horsemen, which obviously aren't going to do a whole lot against 13 longbowmen, which is going to be pretty insane for sure. Yep, tower's going up. Oh boy, and Hera's defensive tower, they are not really protecting too much, kind of protecting the push forward, but he's pulling the boys and girls. No, no, just wants to get resources under the TC. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get the uh, the Aachen deer going right there. So yep, tower's going to be coming up. Gold is denied for Hera. Looking at the current banked resources, Hera is sitting on only 200 gold, so obviously Castle Age is, is just not going to be happening. This is going to be a Feudal Age Royal Rumble. Do you think we can see a switch to maybe Men at Arms, or do you think it's going to be more uh, aggression coming in from archers of their own for the Holy Romans? Mm, I think Holy Roman needs to build lots of army, otherwise they will never get control of the gold. Yeah. Men at Arms, I think with this tower surround, doesn't excite me too much. Plus, in Feudal Age, against that longbow mass and the micro capabilities of Vortex, I think you get kited so much that Men at Arms shouldn't really pay off. 
Yeah, the men at arms, obviously, in theory, against longbows always like sound good. You're like, oh well, you know, with an upgrade, they have four armor, going to be mitigating the damage down to two. But with that many longbowmen and their ability to kind of fall back and kite, in conjunction, of course, with the attack speed buff they're going to be getting from all these outposts nearby. Because if you guys are new to the game, England does have a benefit called the network of castles, where nearby their TCs, towers, and castles, they basically give an attack speed buff. And look at this, another tower going down on the east side of the base, going to be fully shutting down that lumber. Man, this is just pure brutality. And now it looks like the horsemen and scouts going to be taking advantage of the longbow positioning and actually going for the tower on the west side here. Okay, should be a pretty easy pickoff. And then maybe Rewall can go on to gold. Yep. I don't mind the situation. I don't actually think that he is forced to go to the other gold. Quite surprising to me. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna be setting up back there, maybe just taking a more conservative approach. I actually thought that he might destroy this outpost and then maybe build like a, his own tower in that position to try and secure it. But... Now he does have the Aachen food economy somewhat online, but it's mostly sheep with a couple of kind of scarce deer. And he did start to set up a tower, but he actually canceled it. And now there is going to be an outpost set up by that new gold right there. But I think the longbows will get there first. Uh, let's see. Villagers trying to reposition themselves, but should be okay. He's buying time with his cavalry, but we'll have some losses. Yeah, it's always pretty rough. Horsemen, uh, <laughs> horsemen jokingly referred to as horsemen by many, but uh, yeah, able to get in, but just get absolutely massacred by those English longwomen, taking them down, down to the last horse. All that's left right now are two scouts, so he essentially had to sacrifice, what, like five or six horsemen right there just to get that outpost up, and he does have his own arrow slits coming up, but I would imagine there's going to be some battering rams coming soon. Looking at the English base, wow, a pretty substantial farm economy being set up at the back. Uh, the blacksmith siege engineering is about halfway done right now. So I think it is going to be Gotham's reckoning here pretty soon with the aggression coming in from the uh, rat battering rams. Yeah, very, very likely. And behind this vortex is setting up his farms three times the military numbers here. Looking at eight for only Hera, 28 now for vortex. He just can continue poking. Yeah, huh? I will yeah. be interested. It will be interesting to see what Terra can go for. Is there an option to maybe go for some Mango now? Yeah, I mean, he is going to be Castle Age relatively soon. The problem is, I mean, Hera does have his gold coming in up north. His lumber production is pretty much non-existent, which makes me think that he's going to be forced into either uh, Lancers or Castle Age Men-at-Arms, because I don't think he's going to ever have the wood production to get the uh, the mangoes unless he wants to do some very, like, ineffective trading. So the first Battering Ram is coming in, going up to the northern outpost. Holy Romans do have the emergency repair, which will buy them some time, but overall he's pushed off gold now. It's looking pretty grim, and I seriously doubt he's going to get any relics for his Regnant's Cathedral here in the immediate future. Not only pushed away from the gold, but also the wood that he wanted to go for at the top. Yeah. So many villagers not really gathering resources now, and yeah, I don't see him getting too many relics either. Yeah, agreed, brother. I think I think we're going to be seeing just double Lancers coming out and just trying to, you know, use the mass of the knights and their heavy armor to push back the longbows. But I mean, that is a ton of longbowmen. I mean, we have 22... Are we seeing any army variants coming in from Vortex? It does not look like it. Mainly just longbows. I thought we might see some spears just to kind of counter the inevitable knights, but yeah, his gold, he's going to be able to make like two or three knights, and then he's just going to be in the pits right here. And look, he's hes actually mining lumber through the towers right here. So the double outposts are just picking off villagers, and Hera's like, screw it, man, I need it. Probably trying to get enough for one mango, but yeah, looking really, really bad right here. Oh, Hera is going for the attack at the right-hand side tower. Vortex still not too scared of all those knights, simply because he knows, okay, I'm controlling all your gold. You can't go for too many knights. Yeah, this is this is pretty brutal. And we do have two battering rams on the west side of the base. They have finished off the outposts and are now going to be going for houses, trying to get the supply block. Looking at the military supply of both players, currently we have 39 for Vortex. I would imagine Hera is probably sub-10 right now. Yeah, he has eight military supply. And of course, his eco has been taking just brutal damage. And this is kind of what you see from English players. Like, even if this pressure didn't fully finish off Hera, behind this, he has a pretty awesome economy. I mean, the income per minute for Vortex's food is 700. He's doing pretty good on other resources. And the longbows are still just encircling the base and forcing him to garrison up, really losing mining time. Vortex still ready to fight in Feudal Age. He's getting the armor upgrade against melee attack. Yeah. So he expects to have one big fight against knights or men at arms, but it's not really coming. Hera, another attempt at the right hand side. Yeah, and he's also currently supply blocked. We have a couple knights kind of backed up in queue. I mean, lumber is a very scarce resource. Currently, if we're looking at the bank resources, Hera only has 50 wood, so he's only going to be able to build like one more house. So he's really going to be trapped sub-50 supply, but he does get one tower down. Having to pull 21 villagers, a ton of mining time lost, while the English long women just keep circling. Do you think that we're going to see Castle Age from Vortex, or do you think he's just going to go all in on the feudal and try to end the game here? 
I actually think just keep the foot on the gas. You yeah. control two gold spots. Your opponent uh, can't really get onto a strong castle edge army. You're not scared of Mangonauts, you're not scared of mass men at arms or knights. I think you can finish it quite easily in Feudal Age here. Do you think we're going to be seeing... Oh, that answers my question. <laughs> I, I think gonna... so, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be like, you think we'll see this unit? No, it looks like it's pretty over. So that is going to be game one. A very, very convincing, efficient English player with the tower rush and longbows here in game one on Dry Arabia. So certainly coming out with a, a pretty heavy aggression there. Now, what is the next map going to be today? Well, it will be the home map of the loser of game one, which now is Hera. And he, I would expect, is likely to go for another open land map. So maybe something like Lipany feels mm. reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, Lipany is a relatively... I mean, Lipany is basically just like uh, Dry Arabia with hills is, is kind of one of the running jokes there. So... Yeah, it should be interesting. I think we're going to be seeing some Roost. What do you think we will be seeing coming out of Hera in the second game? You've obviously seen him play quite a bit, probably have known him for quite some time. What are his most powerful civs in your experience? Mm, I think the ones where lots of stuff is happening at the same time.